To understand subnetting, I'm going to ask you to be able to convert IP addresses and subnet masks into binary. So here is the number 192.168.50.112 with a slash 24 subnet mask. So converted into binary, this is 192, 168, this is 168, this is 50, and this is 112. Now let's verify. 128 plus 64 is 192. 128 plus 32 is 160, plus 8 is 168. 32 plus 16 is 48, plus 2 is 50. And then 112. 64 plus 32 is 96, plus 16 is 112. Perfect. Then slash 24 in an IP address is the subnet mask. This is indicating the subnet mask, which means there's 24 ones in the subnet mask starting from the left. So we have eight ones here, another eight ones, and another eight ones, that's 24 ones, or 255, 255, 255, zero. This next slide states the subnet mask defines network and hosts. Let's see how this works. Using the same IP address that we have, you can see there's the slash 24, which is our subnet mask which converted to decimal is 255.255.255.0 in four octets. Each octet has eight bits. We have 24 ones, eight ones, eight ones, and eight ones. That's our 255.255.255.0. And the ones tell us where the network is. So the 255s tell us where the networks are. And the zeros let us know where the hosts are. So essentially, what that means is it's the 192.168.50 network because the subnet mask lets us know that these three octets are our network. And then the zeros is where the hosts are. So this is host 112 in the 192.168.50 network. Slash 24 means 24 binary ones for the network and eight zeros left for the hosts. Furthermore, let's talk about the network address and the broadcast address. So once again, same IP address, 192.168.50.112 slash 24. We've got our subnet mask. We know in this case that the network portion is the first three octets from left to right, and the host portion is the last octet, so it's the 192.168.50 network. Well, the first address in the network, in this case, zero, first address is zero, let's say, then that is the network address. It's uh, reserved. You're not supposed to have this address used for a host on your network. This is the network address. It's reserved. So the first address in a network is the network address. The last address in the network is the broadcast address. In this case, it's 192.168.50.255. Minus the network and broadcast address leaves 1 to 254 addresses for the hosts, meaning that a host address is anywhere from 1 to 254 because 0 is the network and 255 is the broadcast address. But 112 is a good host address because it's between 1 and 254. So there are 254 usable host addresses in a slash 24 network like this. Let's apply that same concept, but this time we'll use a class B IP address. The IP address is 172.16.40.201 with a slash 16 subnet mask. So with this IP address, the subnet mask is 255.255.0.0. Once again, the 255s let us know where the network is, or the ones and the binary ones let us know where the network is. So the first two octets are the network. So it's the 172.16 network, and this is host 40.201. So the first address in this network, the network address, the network address is 172.16.0.0. You can't get any lower than that. That's the first address on this network that has 172.16. The last address on the network is 172.16.255.255, and that's the broadcast address. Once again, first address, network address, last address, broadcast address. 
So minus the network and broadcast address leaves 172.16.0.1 through 172.16.255.254 addresses for the hosts. Meaning for in this network, if we have 16 bits of zeros in the host portion, then we could have a total of 65,536 hosts minus two because you can't use the network address for a host and you can't use the broadcast address. So 65,534 usable host addresses if you have a slash 16 subnet mask. The next topic we want to know about is anding to find the network address. And simply stated, you can take an IP address and combine it or and it with the subnet mask to find the network address. Now your PC does this when it takes your IP address and combines it with your subnet mask to find the network that your PC is on. And your PC has its own routing table and knows about the local network based on your IP address combined with your subnet mask in an anding operation. Also, routers know about networks in combination with subnet masks. And then when they get a destination packet for a destination, they check their routing tables and look for a network address with subnet mask that defines that network. So anding is used to find the network based on an IP address and a subnet mask. Well, a logical anding operation, first of all, we need to convert the IP address to binary. Here it is. Then we convert the subnet mask to binary. Here this is. And then we do our anding operation. Now a logical and operation says for this to be true, A and B both need to be true. So that's true and that's true. In Boolean, in Boolean logic, a one is true and a zero is false. So a true and a true makes a true and that becomes a one. And a true and a true makes a true. So we have another one. And a false and a true is a false, so we have a zero. And if we go through there, we can see that, and we, we look at our truth table here and convert it to ones and zeros, then we have 192.168.50, and then when we get to the last octet here, our IP address is 112, but the subnet mask is all zeros, and anything anded with zero is false, or a zero, so it becomes zero. So the network address is 192.168.50.0. So host 112 is on the 192.168.50.0 network. This is how it works with IPv4 addressing and subnet masks. The subnet masks help to define the network, where the network is.